Okay, we proceed with two possible modes of propagation. Okay, from the reaction here. And the reaction here. Okay, from this either this reaction or this reaction. They will have um, either tail to tail or head to head. So it is called F1 to placement. Means that the substituent, which is the styrene here, meet with other styrene. Okay. It is either substituent by substituent, the main substituent um, uh, are adjacent or are placed next to each other. The other one we call it as tail to tail whereby the CH2 meet with CH2. Okay, dia punya ekor dia. Structure asal dia CH, CH2. Yang bertemu dekat belakang ni kita panggil sebagai tail to tail lah. CH2 together with CH2. Harap korang faham eh yang ni. Okay, last step is termination. Propagation will continue until some termination process occur by the reaction of a polymer radical with another polymer radical uh, called as mutual termination or primary radical which is involved the primary termination. For termination to occur, it have three types of termination which are by combination, by disproportionation and by chain transfer. So for termination by combination, it will result to produce head to head placement. So when there are large amount of initiator use or when uh, viscosity is very high, we limit the diffusion of high molecular chain and radical, so we use a chain transfer. Okay, termination by coupling or combination. Two radical at the chain terminal simply join to form a single bond. So it will result in a head to head placement. For termination by disproportionation, radical at the end of one chain attack a hydrogen atom and the second to last carbon atom in the second chain. Produce two terminated chain, one terminated chain will have saturated and the other one will have unsaturated. By chain transfer reaction, um, the radical site from the active long chain polymer transfer to the chain transfer agent, which can then add monomer units to continue the polymerization process. So it will produce one dead polymer structure and the new species with active radical carbon structure. Okay, we will see the next slide uh, for you to imagine how the termination process happened. Okay, termination occur in free radical polymerization by one of two mechanism which is combination or disproportionation. Okay, either mechanism, either mechanism involve the reaction between two growing chain and these are present in very low concentration. So termination reaction occur infrequently even though they are in, in intrinsically very rapid process. So some are normal to be exclusively by combination, some by disproportionation, some by both mechanism. Okay, we look at the result uh, for combination by coupling, termination by coupling or combination. Termination by combination, two chain at the end radical will form to become one chain. Okay, for disproportionation, two chain are terminated but with different end group to produce a saturated, saturated single bond and unsaturated bond. Okay, this is the example of termination from reaction with polystyrene from in, in the previous slide. Okay. So this is the result from propagation. Okay. So it repeat balik yang propagation ni two chain. Okay, two chain uh, with radical. Dia akan bertemu sama-sama dia. Okay. So the resulted is the long chain, single chain. Okay. 
So dah berbon so memang akan hilang. So awak salin je balik yang ni. CH2, 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 CH. Okay, yang ni sampai sini. And then um, don't put the active site. Okay, you just continue from here until here by copy the structure. So it will become one single chain. So the reaction is complete by termination with combination. So we put the red KTC here. It, it will produce head-to-head -head placement of styrene unit at the combination. This is the head-to-head. Ini -head. bertemu uh, substituent utama dia, which is styrene. Uh, benzene, benzene ring. So, uh, as we can see at the end of the chain, PPO group caps both end of the chain become part of the terminated chain. Okay. Only promotes the polymerization and is fully recovered at the end of the polymerization. Okay, for termination by disproportionation, Occur when the hydrogen atom is transferred from one chain to the other. Two terminated chains are produced. One chain will have unsaturated carbon group and the other is fully saturated. Okay, awak sambung balik daripada structure propagation tadi, produk tu yang last, sama juga salin balik dua kali, which is um, plus, okay? plus with another radical from propagation. Sama lah dua ni, cuma dia punya Active side ni kat depan, yang ni dekat belakang. Okay. So, it will tend to produce a saturated. Awak salin je yang ni kan. Salin yang ni, CH2. Bila dia dah jadi saturated, dia punya hydrogen dia transfer ke sini. Uh. And then, the other the other one become unsaturated chain. Okay, yang ni CH2 and CH2 pula. Uh, Chain yang dekat sini, active site dia, dia transfer hydrogen, dia akan jadi double bond. Yang ni, dia tak pergi ke bond, dia pergi dekat hydrogen yang dekat sini. Okay. So, the rate is KTD which is termination by disproportionation. Okay, for termination by chain transfer, it occurs when a chain stops growing. But the polymerization does not stop because a new radical is generated. By hydrogen abstraction from an initiator, monomer, polymer or solvent molecule. So this is the hydrogen abstraction. So this is the uh, rate of propagation. Okay. SH is a solvent or any other molecule, either monomer or polymer, with an abstractable hydrogen. Okay, we see what is the result. Okay, this is come from the propagation rate tadi. What salin balik plus with the SH, hydrogen abstraction. Hydrogen abstraction. So, the result is um, you copy down. Copy, just copy the structure until CH. But uh, you substitute the hydrogen. Hydrogen is transferred. Um, from this to this, so it becomes CH2 here. Okay, they can transfer hydrogen yang ni. Okay, can pergi ke sini. So, S leave with the active site radical here. Chain transfer agent can then add monomer units to continue polymerization process. Okay, this is... Uh, the overall or the overview of chain transfer for chain transfer to a solvent and chain transfer agent chain transfer may occur with the solvent or other additive use for example chain transfer to a solvent we use thio disulfide ccl4 cbr4 hydrogen propane so the result in a that polymer and a new free radical. For chain transfer to initiator, 
If higher initiated concentration is used, radical from the initiators can terminate polymer radicals, which is primary radical termination. So this process reduces polymer molecular weight and reduces initiator efficiency. Fortune transfer to monomer. Transfer of hydrogen can occur either from the monomer to a propagating macro radical reaction or in the reverse direction. In either case, the active site is transferred to the monomer and the growth of the polymer radical is terminated. For chain transfer to initiator, it will reduce the polymer molecular weight and initiator efficiency. For chain transfer to polymer, it will lead to produce a dead polymer uh, with a new free radical polymer. Okay. For polymer uh, for chain transfer to the solvent, it will tend to produce a branching or backbiting, which is self self branching. Okay. We will look at the next slide for backbiting. Okay. And this is the example of chain transfer to initiator. One chain is terminated, but another one is initiated. This particular reaction reduces molecular weight and waste initiator. As we can see, this is the example of chain transfer to initiator and chain transfer to solvent. This is the chain transfer to initiator, whereby this is the PB, PPO initiator. One chain N is terminated to produce that, that chain, but the other one is initiated, which is reinitiated. This particular reaction uh, will reduce molecular weight and waste initiator. So basically, chain transfer to initiator will tend to produce a new radical, okay, a new free radical capable of new initiation. This one, and the, the one, this one, uh, a new free radical unable to start the growth of new chain, which is called as degenerative transfer. Okay, for transfer to solvent, a significant decrease in polymer chain length is found. When polymerization is carried out in solution rather than in undiluted state. So chain transfer to solvent effectiveness depends on the solvent amount, the strength of the breaking bond and stability of the solvent radical form. This uh, solvent we use is CCL4 to the styrene structure. Okay, so look at the next slide. For chain transfer to a polymer does not lead to a reduction in DP. It can produce a branching polymer which is due to the intramolecular transfer or also known as the backbiting reaction. What is backbiting? It is a radical at the end of the polymer chain obstructs a hydrogen from a methylene unit in the same. Okay. Chain transfer to polymer, which is uh, backbiting, ataupun self branching, it can be illustrated in this figure. If the chain and radical attack an atom on the backbone of the same or another chain, the result is a new radical that can reinitiate to form a a new branch. Okay, as we can see, this is this is the chain and radical. So um, it attacks uh, the atom of the backbone of the same okay, or another chain. Okay, they, they attack bone ini ataupun bone yang lain. So, it will form a new radical that can reinitiate to form a branching polymer. So, basically, trans chain transfer to a polymer we use in the production of LDPE, low density polyethylene. So we use the Ziegler Natal catalyst by um, also by the coordination polymerization. This is the example of backbiting polymer. Intermolecular transfer result in long chain branching. Okay, they can produce uh, active site yang takkan stop untuk into produce polymer.
Backbiting of PE, this is a very important process in the periodical high pressure polymerization process.